what's up youtube family welcome back to my channel all right so i've been bitten by the bug y'all by the furniture flipping thrifting upcycling bug whatever you want to call it i've been bitten by it um i went back to the good old goodwill the outlet version and i found what i have finally been looking for a chair for my desk I said the last chair that I did, which I'll put up, post up in the eye over here, was what I wanted to use for my desk, but it's a recliner, so it's more like a living space kind of chair. It's not meant to be like your office chair for a desk, and it doesn't fit what I'm trying to create, but the Google never lets me down because I walked in there. I didn't go in there for anything in particular, just walked in there, and it was sitting right there. My precious was just waiting on me, so I bought it loaded it up in my car, brought it home, and in order to get it exactly where I want it to be, we're going to start by painting it. We are painting furniture yet again, and I'm going to take some steps that I learned from the last time we painted that chair and apply it to this, so hopefully like the fabric won't be as crunchy as my other chair is. I'm going to add some more water. Um, I actually watered down the paint itself in the can, and then I'm going to have regular water out, so like be dipping my brush before I paint so hopefully it'll work out better hopefully crossing my fingers but okay let me show you guys what I picked up before we get started okay so here is the chair in really good shape no rips tears holes nothing Oh, it's just so beautiful <laughs> but uh, it's nice and sturdy sat in it tested it out so that is going to be my desk chair because here's the plan guys I don't want my office to be called an office I want it to be called my throne room some women have she shed or a hen den all that I don't want none of that I don't like those names I want a throne room. So this chair to me kind of already looks like a throne. So we're gonna paint it, spray paint the legs again, add some embellishments to it to really give it that crown feeling. And yeah, that is gonna be my throne that we are making. And then since I bought this chair, they were having like a sale on stuff that hasn't sold in a while. So the guy was like, since you bought a piece of furniture, you can pick one of our sale items and take it home for free. So I picked this little table here. And it just has like an opening inside, like there's no shelving in there or anything. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it, but it was free. So I'll figure it out. <laughs> I will most definitely figure it out. But all right, let's get started.
first coat. So we can really start turning this baby into a throne. All right, so here we are with the chair in the house. Um, gold legs are spray painted gold. The chair is the nice white color. Focus, focus. Are you focused? Okay. Chair is the nice white color that I wanted, and I went onto good old Amazon and I bought some onlays they're called and they came like with just a wood finish they were like they weren't stained or anything just natural wood and then I just spray painted these golds as well so I want them because again this is going to be my throne guys so this one I want to put here at the bottom in the middle like so yeah like that I don't think that's the center it's definitely not the center but y'all get the point so that will go there and then I had got these other pieces because I wanted to have it like up at the top of the chair when I was ordering them I forgot exactly what the top of the chair looked like so I kind of wanted it to look like a crown so I was going to put these here. I'm still trying to work. Work it out in my head as far as like how that would work for me to stick these here. But I'm going to figure something out because I definitely want this to go here. thicker trim because this one it, it's a lot you have to like make sure it's turned on the right side so that the rhinestones are sticking up and not on the underside oh baby this is gonna take me a minute That is what my heart says. This is what my heart says. I wanna be with you always. Always, yeah. You are my world in every place. Okay, so I feel like three hours later of applying <laughs> that trim, I'm going to call it done. Like, I, 
whew, not that it, I mean, I could do like a little bit more like the trim across the back. Like if I turn it around, I could put trim along the back, but this is all I have left and focus. I don't think that's going to be enough. Like I know it's not going to be enough. So this is it. It's all trimmed. I did like the sides. I'm trying to get it so y'all can see. Yeah. So I did the sides. Like I couldn't even get like the in inner part of the seam here. So it's just this seam here, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to look at all the places where I couldn't put trim. I think I put it in like the most important parts. So that works for me. That's fine. Um, I guess I could use this last little bit to just do like this line right there on the cushion. If that would be enough, I really don't know. Maybe. But I don't want to like try it and then get halfway through and then realize that, oh, I don't have enough and then it'd be unfinished. So I don't think I'm going to try it. Plus, it's also not going to matter because now it's time for me to start putting the onlays on. Sorry. So again, like I told y'all, this one's going to go there at the bottom. So, I mean, it would just be more for me to add this trim to the that portion there of the cushion. I don't know. I may try it. And I feel like there are a few spots on the couch that I need to like, not the couch, but the chair that I need to touch up with the chalk paint. Like, can y'all see it? Does it seem like it's a little faded in this area here? Do y'all see it? I don't know, but I'm going to contemplate this trim and then we'll get into starting to glue on the onlays. I'm still trying to wrap my head around how the top piece is going to go up there. I haven't figured it out yet in my mind. I finally stopped running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way The joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face I Okay, so I should probably have turned off the TV, but so far my logic has been to take the top piece here and I'm going to glue it to this piece of um, poster board that I got from the dollar store. So I just cut off a side panel and I'm just going to glue it to here and then just I started to like mark it around with the pencil and trying to see if I can it's like so intricate. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my X-Acto knife to cut out this exact shape on this poster board. I could try it. Or as you can see with the pencil mark, I was just going to try to make like another shape around it. So I don't know. We'll see. Because when I traced it out exactly, it's a lot. So we're going to see. But yeah, that's the plan so far. Glue this to the poster board. Trace it some kind of way, cut it out, and then I have some gold spray paint left over, and then I'll just spray paint the whole thing yet again with gold spray paint, and then I'll spray paint the back too since it's just cardboard. So that it's all one color and blends in. Hopefully that works. Cross your fingers. All right, so I had to use scissors. I didn't have the 
I don't know what skill set you need to have to be able to work an exacto knife. <laughs> like, to, especially to do curves and stuff, but I don't have it. So I use scissors. Um, it let me come out with majority of the shape. Like, I kind of want to edge this little corner up a little bit, but I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it alone and not touch it. It's good enough. Got my good old spray paint. What is left of it? Yeah, seems like enough. And we're just going to go outside on the front step, spray paint the front of it gold again, and then do the back of it gold. And then I will break out the hot glue and then just glue the bottom to the chair. And maybe I may break out some E6000 for this. Just because it's just this one small piece and I just want to make sure it's extra secure. So yeah, let's go spray paint some stuff. Okay, so there she is. All done. Everything has been glued on. Spray painted. I even touched up the legs a little bit. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? The crown worked out just how I wanted it to. Um... The only thing now, because I had to use the spray paint chair, kind of smells like spray paint a little bit, but it's fine. It'll wear off eventually, hopefully. But yeah, there it is. My own personal throne chair that I did not have to pay an arm and leg for. Because again, like I said before, the chair itself got it from the Goodwill outlet. Only cost me 10 bucks. Um, a can of spray paint, we'll say that's like $2. The onlays, I actually didn't have to pay for at all because I use my Fetch Rewards points, which I keep trying to tell y'all about Fetch Rewards. And if you still have not downloaded the app, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Like You just don't like free money at this point. I just fully believe that. If you don't have Fetch Rewards right now, after all the things that y'all have seen me buy for free, you just don't like to save money. That's the only conclusion that everyone has come to. You don't like money. You just don't like it. But yeah, all the onlays I got for free using my Fetch Rewards points. So I can't include them in the total, but I'll link them in the description box below in case you would like to buy them for yourself of how much they cost. Um, And then, yeah, the trim as well. I also got that off of Amazon with my fetch rewards points. So it was free, but I think like the original cost was like $19 for the trim alone, which it went pretty far. I'm not even going to lie. It stretched a decent amount and I have this much left, like enough for two little anklets. So I would say it went pretty far. I again, will link that in the description box down below for you guys to look at. But there she is, my throne chair. I'm so proud of myself. So proud. What? No one can talk to me when I'm in this chair. Like, I'm just, I have decided. Like, it just looks like, don't talk to me, don't touch me. Let me just elevate my level back up. Okay, royalty is at work right here. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so happy. So this is my office chair. To go with my very junky desk, don't pay attention to it. That'll be another video of organization for another time. But right now, we're just going to stay focused on this right here. This beautiful thing right here. But okay, please make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one and on to our next art project. All right, bye.